Hey there everybody, Sean here from Android Central. I want to show you a detailed look at the Amazon Cloud Drive and updated MP3 app that we wrote about yesterday. So if you have not updated your app yet, uh, please do so in the Android Market or the Amazon App Store. Once you have, you'll see the icon right here. I'll bring you, it'll bring you to the home screen, which is, you'll see Store, which has always existed, but has re been revamped, or Player, which is completely new. So we go to Store real quick. You'll see best sellers, new releases, browse by genre, free song of the day, or MP3 daily deal album. I suggest you check the, the daily deals every day because you can get some pretty good music for, for cheap. Now you can seamlessly switch between player and store right here, but for video's sake, I'm just going to go right to the player from here. Now here is the media player that Amazon has built in and synchronized with their cloud drive. You'll see two options up here, cloud drive music and on-device music, and underneath you'll see playlists, artists, albums, or songs. Obviously the on-device music is the media that you have stored physically on your device. Uh, so here you'll see it's brought in songs and podcasts as well. Cloud Drive music, this is all of my media that I have uploaded to my Amazon Cloud Drive. These are all songs and albums that are stored on Amazon servers, not stored on, to take up precious space from my device. So for instance, if we click on August and Everything After, which is one of my favorite Counting Crows albums, you'll see a list of tracks right here. These are ready to be streamed. So let's try it. If we go to Mr. Jones, relying on Verizon's, oh, that was, that was seamless. Not even a little buffering right there. You'll see, you know, beautifully displayed album art. Uh, controls, pause, shuffle, repeat, skip, previous or next. Click here, it'll bring you to all of the tracks in August and everything after. I'll pause this. Wherever you go in the app, you'll see down here a little uh, little bar, which will show the now playing, the song that's now playing, or most recently played. And you can have you know the little controls to play or skip to previous or next. Now within the album, you'll have various options. You can shop more from the Counting Crows, or you can download the entire album with this button right here. Why why would you want to do that? Well. You know, many of us go places where data connections aren't always reliable, or we're worried about exceeding uh, data caps or, or or whatever. So, if you want to download di directly from your cloud drive to your device, if you want to do individual songs, I would long press Mr. Jones, and it'll come up with some options. You'll see download song right there, and add song to various playlists, shop more in store. But if you select download song. Now, I don't want to bore you by having you watch a song being downloaded, so I've already downloaded a couple songs. I've downloaded Ray LaMontagne, Live from Bonnaroo, 2005. Jolene, so if I click it, it's going to play right away, because this is not streaming, this is directly from my device. Uh, no, but once you download a song from your cloud drive, this does not take it away from your cloud drive. So if I go to my Nexus One, go to my player, let's go to Albums. Here's live from Bonnaroo, Ray LaMontagne, right there. All ready to be downloaded or streamed from my Nexus One. While it's downloaded and available to be streamed on my Galaxy Tab. So the music is always stored on Amazon's servers in the cloud drive. Uh, you're just bringing them down with your various devices or just streaming directly from them. Now one of the most important aspects of a media player for me personally uh, is playlist management. And Amazon's done a great job on allowing you to uh, create very simple playlists. So if I create a playlist, let's see, I already have test one and two, so let's say test three. Save it. Once you've named it, it's going to bring up all the songs that you have on that either cloud drive or on your physical device. So this is on my cloud drive. So if I want to add Anna Begins, Blindly, uh, can't buy me love, come together, click done. Now it's going to update the playlist with all these songs. And same thing, if you're going, if you've created a great playlist at home, but you don't want to try the data connection and you don't want to create the playlist again, if you go into the playlist right here, you have the option of downloading it right here. You download it and you know, play it, play it perfectly from your device uh, when you leave the house or, or, or what have you. Uh, and it's very easy to delete playlists as well. So if if I had downloaded, you'll see them right here. You long press, it'll give you the option to delete. 
that will not delete it on the cloud drive. The only way to, down, to delete m music and media from your Amazon cloud drive is directly from Amazon. You're not going to delete anything by deleting it on your, on your device. I also wanted to show you uh, how, how easy it is to, uh, to buy a song and how instantly that syncs across. So let's see some of the best sellers here. Let's just buy... Uh, just buy a song from the One Republic called Secrets. Once you say purchase, you'll see a thing that says purchase completed, or processing and then completed with a green check mark. And you'll see this green check mark, it says saved to Amazon Cloud Drive. Uh, you can go to your Amazon Cloud right now. And there it is, all ready to be streamed. And um, this will also show up on your other devices right away. So if we go to Artists, there's One Republic right there, waking up, all ready to be downloaded and streamed on my Nexus One device. And if I had another Android device with me, I could do the same with that. Just one more thing I want to show you, the settings menu. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. You can sign out uh, of, your, of your Amazon account. You can enter a claim code if you have an Amazon gift card. You can set it to only download over Wi-Fi to, to conserve battery uh, or, or, or bandwidth. And the, your cloud drive will refresh every 10 minutes. So if you've uploaded a bunch of music from your, from your computer and aren't seeing it right away, just <clears throat> press refresh cloud drive and that will force it to manually, manually see all the new music that you've added. I've been very impressed with, with Amazon's uh, player that integrates with Cl Cloud Drive so far. It's very easy. It's very seamless. It'll play. It'll play it very well. Shuffles, uh, playlist management is is very simple and seamless. So I highly recommend it. It's it's a great app. And uh, yeah, this has been Amazon. Cloud Drive and the updated Amazon MP3 player app. I'm Sean Burnett. Thanks a lot.